Welcome back to the Weekly Top 5. Today we are starting off with a little tiny train in the middle of a desert. So let's get started. So our first build of the day is the Chicago Aurora and Elgin 400 Series Interurban. Wait, what? Why does it say and? Why does it say and? It says Chicago Aurora and Elgin. There's no Elgin here. It's just a Chicago Aurora. Where's the Elgin at? Oh, maybe that's the name. Oh, let's see. Chicago Aurora and Elgin. Oh, well, there you go. Makes perfectly good sense when you actually read. Okay, so it's not two vehicles. I knew that. I'm just messing around. This is by Geronimo. And so if you know who Geronimo is, you know that this is something that he hates, which is, you know, train cars. And so he, he built one. So he's coming around? I don't, I, don't, I don't understand. All right, so let's see about the operation. It says that it is Stormlink compatible. Well, that's cool. All right, well, let's, let's try to get inside. Nice doors. Now, do these work how do i how do i get inside um oh can't we have paint block buttons please i'm pushing another button i shouldn't push okay uh oh do i have to hold it oh i have to hold it okay never mind i'm dumb all right so let's just check it out inside there we go all right is there lights in here that we can turn on Tw oh, toilet is that a window all right what what is that Oh, it's a window. Why is it doing that weird blue thing? That's odd. I thought it was like a picture for a second. Okay, uh, please do not use the toilet while well, train is stopped. Okay, we won't do that. Uh, what is that? Transponder. No, okay, maybe you have to turn it on first. Then the lights will go on. Or maybe there's a light switch in here. I, I don't know. I need to read. Okay, move to the end of car number one. Okay. I have to go about all the way back. All the way back. Okay. Move to the end of car number one. I'm guessing this is the end of car number one, right? And this... The end is this end? Or that end? Which end? I don't... I don't... I don't know. But, uh... Let's see if we can find the things. Uh... Turn on master control. Maybe I'm on the wrong side. Let's go to the other end. I thought this was a, the end, because it's a back end, right? Maybe we need to go to the front end? Oh! Master control. Okay. Now, is this the right one? Because I don't want to be at the wrong end of the train. Cause that'd be bad, right? So let's see if there's any stuff in here. There's not. Okay, okay, okay. So this is the right end. Hard to see that little guy there. Okay, turn on mass control. Switch on any lights needed. Okay. Yeah, we'll turn on those lights. Oh, we can see now. Let's go look. Okay, so he's got like artwork up there. It's hard to read because I don't have my glasses on. But uh, yeah, so I've got the artwork. Isn't there a cool endo poster here? I don't know my endo poster. Did I get like rejected? Oh, there it is. Yay! Yay! I'm in a build. The other ones, I can't really tell what they are. That looks like some guy eating. Maybe he's eating too. Maybe if I squint. Does that help? That looks like a fire hydrant. Uh, let's see. Let's go back through here. Uh, squinting, squinting. Another endoscope. Yay! For me. There's. Uh, I don't know what that is. That's a table on fire, maybe? Uh, fire hydrant again, maybe? Uh, a weird American flag sideways? Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm just projecting now. Okay, let's uh, go back in here. Let's see here. We have turn on mass control, turn on the brake stand in cut switch. I saw that somewhere. Brake stand cut in switch. Yeah! Turn on... Move to the number... Move to the end of number two. I guess that's what it meant by number one. So this would be the end of number two. Because we have to go through this little part right here. And release the handbrake. Release the handbrake. Can I push that? How do I release it? Is there something I can press? Or at least I think that's it. Do I just hold the button? Okay, return to end number one. Above the window and control switch. Above the... Okay, right here. Boop. Yeah. Turn on the end of one. Okay. Uh, move the brake handle to release. Oh, what's this? Wait, release brakes? Kind of hard to read that one. Apply brakes, release. Okay. Oh, release. Oh, did I release the brake over here? Let's go run back real quick. Release brakes. Okay, that one's released. Okay, let's run back. Yes, I know, Geronimo. It's painful to watch me play with your builds, but it's fun for me. Okay, let's see here. Uh, move the brake handle, raise position, brake pressure should build to 90. Should? Press the top notch controller up. Okay, I did that. How many times did I did it? Supposed to begin moving. Am I moving? I'm not moving. Did I break it? Alright, let's try again. 
All right, we're gonna do this really quick. So, 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 where's that button? Uh, we'll release the handbrake, right? It is released already. Uh, press the notch controller up. What am I doing wrong? It's like there's a brake on, but there's no brakes. Oh my god, why am I not getting this to work? I don't know, let's respawn it yet again. They're already released. See that? Look, they're already released. Overloaded. Ah. Maybe we're missing a brake that's important back here that I'm not seeing. Is this not the handbrake? Is there another brake that I'm missing? Where's the handbrake? Is it like outside or something? Outside? Oh, what's that? Raise lower trap door. Oh, that's cool. That's not solving my problem. But yeah, that's cool. Am I really gonna <laughs> start the video off by not getting this thing started? Handbrake. Dear gosh. See that? Right there. Three hours later. Okay. Are we moving? We're moving. I'm turn off the door here. Oh my god. All right, there we go. I'm gonna go sit down. I need a break after all that. I can't sit down. There's no seats. It's all props. Oh, let's just go outside. All right, so there we go. This is Geronimo's build and almost killed my sanity. And of course, this is the first build of five. So let's get to number four. You can download this, of course, in the description below. And don't forget the handbrake is in the back left side and you have to figure out where to click. All right, let's go to the next one. All right, coming in at number four with a lot of warnings is the Dacia Romanian Passenger Liner. And this is by Comandante Victor Lone SCU. And... <laughs> oh, it had too many blocks, I guess. All right, now spawning in as a mission is the uh, SMR Dacia. And it'll be here in a minute to kill the frame rate. No, not too bad. Okay, good, good. All right, let's check it out. Okay, let's just do a little flyby here. Looks nice. I like the uh, the whole look of the, the hole and stuff and the little portholes. It looks really cool. Only downside, of course, is I think all of those are real ropes. So don't you wish we had static ropes? Yeah, me too. Okay, all right, so let's just start down here and uh, do a little tour. Lighting. Uh, I never know where to look for lighting. This is like a dining room or lounge room, but I don't know where the lighting. Maybe we. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes they put all the lighting in the helm, and sometimes they put a button where I don't see it, but I'm not seeing any buttons. So I guess we'll assume that. I actually like these paneling. That's really nice, using the uh, microcontrollers for the wood paneling. I don't know if I've seen that before like this, but that looks really good. Okay, very cool. Or maybe I've seen it before and just didn't notice. Okay, uh, going down, we're just gonna look through a couple of these. I'm sure these are just nice little bedrooms. And okay, these are just locks, so I assume these are just props. And we can go down here, look through here. Oh, that's nice. It's like a curtain. Again. Not seeing the light switches. Wait, does this need infinite electricity? <gasps> it does. Okay. Now things are moving. Okay. There we go. Alright, so there's that. I think this build needs more light switches. Because I can't find the one. Oh, that's nice. I like that. My battery's almost in on my flashlight. But, uh... I can't find the light switches, and it's driving me crazy. Let's jump down here on the table. Oh! Got a nice little player piano. Still no light switches. Bounce around here. And come up here, I think. All right. And here we go. Surely. Surely. What's back here? Nice little rooms. Hey, you got a light switch. Yay! Okay. Locked. 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 Okay, so the locked doors, I assumed, are props. Light switch. Yay. Okay. Uh, where's the helm? How did I lose? Oh, it's up there. Okay. One more deck. All right. Come back up here. All right. So, light switches. Oh my god, okay. 
Okay, I'm too lazy to run back down there, so I'm just going to teleport. All right, here we go. So we teleported down here, and now you can see what it looks like with lights on. It looks really nice. Now we can walk through here. It looks really nice. Looks looks really, really lovely. I love this. It looks nice. Okay. Yay for us. We have lights. Okay, let's go back to the helm. Okay, it says turning on the ship is as easy as doing the smoke generator. Smoke generator? Is it just like... Oh, those are electric engines. Oh no, there's boilers heating up. Okay. Oh, okay, dokie, dokie. We'll just wait. Oh, okay. Interesting. So it took a really long time to heat up, but I thought that this controller here was controlling the forward and rev increase speed, decrease speed. Yeah, it doesn't seem to do anything here, so that was confusing me. So this does not do anything. It's these that you need to use the um, the engine moving. I was waiting here forever. All right, cool. Let's check it out at night. All right, here it is at night. Looks really nice. I like the lighting choices for the color. Instead of like a bright white. It's got that nice yellow, warm feeling. So, very cool. And as you can see, it lights up all the way down in the bottom portholes. And it looks really, really nice. All right. All right, so this has been the SMR Dacia Romanian Passenger Liner. And you can download this in the description below. Remember... Oh, wait. I want to click this button. Just for the sake of it. Did that make things sink? Or did it just close doors everywhere? I don't know what that did. It did watertight doors. It keeps the water out, right? I have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm just going to say that uh, it's cool, and you can download it in the description below. Let's get to number three. Woo! All right, this is actually not number three. This is the customizable LiDAR version 1.2 by Higi, and I just wanted to use it because it looks cool. So that is number three over there, and that is by Thelise. But I just want to see if this can scan it. I just want to try it. He has a really cool demo. I don't know how to get that clearer. Uh, 200? Ah, I don't know. I can't get it to work right. I kind of wanted to see the plane. The plane is there. You can see it. But I can't see any details. Anyway, so this is just an extra one that I really wanted to try because I saw it on the uh, workshop and it, it fell off the top five. So, oh, can I? Oh, no, I can't. Be cool if it took a picture. But it doesn't. It's like scanning in real time. Okay, anyways, let's get to number three. All right, this is number three as we come up on it. This is the Goldwing Geo 7 Caladrius Calidri Calidrius by Thales. And this is part of a, a bunch of planes that are appearing on the workshop now that are part of the Weight Works Realistic Weight for Engine Fuel uh, for Humans. And uh, they're built so that they have proper weighting and behave realistically so there's a whole little group there i don't know what the uh discord is for it uh it looks like there is a invite i'm gonna put throw that invite in the uh bottom of the description here and you can check it out and join if you'd like to so this is of course a thales plane so it's gonna be pretty cool heaters work if it's gold okay and oh my goodness We've got a stove. <laughs> That's not what I was really saying. Oh my goodness, there's a bunch of buttons. Okay, we're going to have to read this, I think. Unless it's easy peasy. Oh, well, there's not much directions here. So maybe it's easy peasy. Okay. What does it say? Engines are numbered beginning one from the farthest left. Yeah, okay. Diesel generator, reserve battery. Okay, we'll turn that on. Map. We don't really need that. We'll turn on. Emergency beacons, channels, radial power. Okay, so far, so good. Landing lights, navigation lights, lights, cockpits. Uh, okay, the generator is on, I think. Uh, let's see. Parking brakes are on. Altitude hold. Propeller up. Mixture lean. What is our, our mixture? Oh, do I have to change this? I'm not going to touch it right now. Okay, wow, look, that has a lot of engines. I didn't notice the two bottom ones. Okay. So, contains 1052 weight blocks to reflect realistic weight of engine, radiator, fuel, crew, and passengers. Built for weight works competition with limited engine and under weight block rules. 
cool. Okay. All right. Propeller takeoff is 0.24. Can I do it with my... Yeah, I can. Okay, I'm going to do it with my keyboard. Doing the up key here. Okay, let's go ahead and turn off that parking brake. It's speeding up a bit. Did it say what cruise speed is? Wait, where's that at? Oh, cruise. 0.31. Oh, that's nice. The other plane, I had to go like 90% before it would stay up in the air. Okay. Let's see if we can use Q and E to turn. We're going to go ahead and turn right here and go down this taxiway. And then we'll try to use a full runway. Maybe. I guess. All right. I'll cut to it when we get back over there. All right, so we are at the end of the runway. I'm going to go ahead, or sorry, end of the taxiway, excuse me. Uh, we're going to go ahead and make a right turn here. And I want to clear up that I read this wrong. So this is the propeller setting. Let's see, 0.24 and cruise 31. This is the throttle setting. And it doesn't have like a recommended like takeoff speed or anything like that. But it does say keep the throttle at 1.0 in flight and adjust propeller for efficiency and speed. Uh, it is possible to increase the range above 600 kilometers at the expense of speed. So, there you go. So, very cool. Let's see if we can get this thing to turn. And then we'll try to take off. And maybe we'll even try to land. Because this thing has mouse look. And I love that. It's really nice for landing. Okay. Minus looking the wrong way after I land and crash in the plane. Alright, let's go ahead and straighten out. And we'll go ahead and increase the speed. Alright, here we go. Okay. Sounds good. We're at a throttle of 74. Okay, that tail just raised up. Wow, this feels good. This feels like a really nice plane. I feel the weight of the plane. I don't know how to explain that, but it feels like I'm flying a plane in Stormworks and not a physics block that can fly without wings. So, feels good. I'm going to increase the speed a little bit more. And see if it picks up off the ground. And there it goes. I did not touch the elevator. It just got lift all on its own. Nice. Okay. So we've got uh, a prop pitch at 0.24. Let's go ahead and raise that to 31. 31. All right. There we go. And this is pretty much, look at that, this looks nice, uh, the sides. Anyways, this is pretty much it. This this is a Thales plane. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to want to download this and just enjoy flying it. So let me go ahead and do a little mouse look here. Let's see, number two. So number two is activated, I think. Oh, wait, number three. Sorry, number three. There we go. So we're going to come back around. And again, feels like I'm flying a plane, not a Stormworks block, uh, you know, that flies with thrust. Okay. So, going to go ahead and try to land. And, ooh, my microphone is rising as I'm falling. Okay, hold on. Too many things going on here at once. Okay. And we're coming in at a really bad angle. But, that's me flying, so... We're just going to have to go with it. Okay, here we go. Pretend like this is an aircraft carrier. Yeah, right. Okay. Uh, feels good. Gosh, this feels good. You have to fly this plane to actually know what I'm talking about. This plane feels good. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Okay, turn off mouse look. And now we can see it. Look at that! I didn't blow it up! What? That's what I'm telling you. You gotta fly a Thales plane. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and click the link in the description below and give some of his planes a try. There's like a whole bunch of these cool gold wing planes that are built with realistic weight. And there must be some more in the uh, workshop for the competition. So maybe uh, the link to the weight works will get you there. But anyways, great plane. Give it a try. Let's get to number two. All right, coming in at number two is this little guy, and this is the Colin McRae's 1997 Subaru Impreza. Uh, Impreza? Impreza? I don't know how to say that car. Uh, WRC, and this is by Bumpy. So we're going to give it a whack and see what happens. 
Maybe it doesn't have door. I don't know. But what's this? Headlights. Okay, we're gonna jump inside. All right. Turn on the headlights. Where is the key? I can never see. Maybe there's not a key. Okay, number one. Okay, there we go. We've got this little nice looking interface here. It's kind of flicking right there. It looks like a boo boo. Uh, are we on? Oh, we're on. It was very quiet. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a try around the racetrack. Okay, so it is an auto. And uh, it's cute. It's a cute little car. Looks like it's fun just to drive around Stormworks. Okay. Oh, that's not good. I had to use handbrake. Uh, turning was a little tough. Let's try again. Maybe it was just I was going too fast. So this does not seem to drift. Let's try it right here. Yeah, turning's not tight at all. It's pretty, uh, pretty straight on. Oops, I broke it. Is it trying to do that thing? I forgot what it's called, but the steering where it doesn't oversteer? Maybe. Okay, cutting off the gas. Okay, that's better. So this, you really have to drive this car. You can't just floor it and turn like I was doing before. I think Slynn's cars uh, are a little bit more responsive with the turning. But, uh, you know, it's a sports car. Maybe that's why. So, anyways, feels good. And uh, let's try to make this turn here. Lay off the gas. Yeah. Oh, this is good. Yeah, I like this now. I'm just a bad driver. So don't get in my car with me. Because uh, it does not turn properly. All right. So this is number two. Again, this is a Subaru by Bumpy. And you can download it in the description below. Okay, let's try the blinkers. Blink. Blink. Cool. All right. Horn. Ah, number one. Here it comes. All right. Coming at number one. Where's number one? Down there. This is number one. Coming at number one is the KM SAR S10 career starter boat. And this is by Custom. And uh, yeah, it, it blew up today. Uh, people are liking this one. So it does have a flooding problem, but that is a Stormworks thing, not a Kalstrom thing. And uh, seems to have all the things you need. Ropes. Uh, looks like we have little outboard motors. We've got... Is that a monitor? What is that? Uh, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, that's a seat? Oh, wait. oh, that's a seat. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right, let's go ahead and start it up. Okay, we've got a little radar system. Uh, radar on. Cabin lights. Cool. All right, there it is. Looking good. If we turn the engines, you'll see the engines turn and steer the boat, which is always cool. I like these kind of outboard engines on the boats. I haven't made one of these. Actually, I haven't really made a boat. But anyways, let's just give it a whack. Okay. So, seems really stable. It's not flying out of the water like mine does. And uh, we're going full speed ahead. Oh. <laughs> Oops. Okay, it does not like when you turn hard. That was my bad, not the boat. Let's respawn it. All right, let's try that again. Uh, as you can see, it is really nice on straightaways, but if you're going to turn, you should probably slow down because it does turn rather sharp. Yeah, it's very sharp on the sharp turns. It's very sharp on the sharp turns. Does that make any sense? It is very good at turning sharp is what I mean to say. So yeah, it feels good. Looks good. Looks like a starter boat. It looks... You know what this looks like? This looks like a boat that should be in a, like, in-game career catalog where you can go to your computer in your little workbench and you can down... Not download, but you can purchase pre-built uh, starter boats from a, like, you know, like a... a uh, like a catalog. So it would be part of the game. You just wouldn't go and download vehicles. You'd have, like... The devs pick some really good boats that should be in the career mode and then you purchase a boat maybe instead of building it or you know you could tweak it or whatever and then you go and you start doing like the oil stuff and then the devs add a catalog for some of the best builds to be in there and you go through your computer catalog and you purchase you know your um equipment for doing uh, mining and all that stuff and you know so on and so on so basically the devs would have to do a little bit effort to find the best builds, 
test them. I know that's a, uh, I know, not a thing that they do, but it would be cool. That way you could actually play the game and start buying equipment if you're not a great builder, which I'm not at land vehicles and all that crap. Uh, so yeah, it would be really cool. Anyways, maybe in the next game. Who knows? But it uh, feels like uh, the world would be a little bit more um, alive if you could go to a computer and start buying equipment. All right, I'm being redundant. Let's go ahead and see if I can turn. Yeah, woo! Yeah, turning is a little bit rough. I think maybe uh, just turning the turning the turn down, turning the turning, turning the turning down, turning down the sensitivity of turning might help uh, make the boat a little bit more stable for new players. Because if I turn like this, it is oh, not, not not bad, not bad. Maybe my first turn was just a bad turn early on, but okay, now it's feeling good. I'll shut up. Stop complaining. Great boat. Download it in the description below. Let's get to the extra five. All right, coming in at number five on the extra five is the Nino Promax Shuttle Tanker, and this by Mr. Pro Jills. And this is a really nice build, so I'm sure it would have made it to the top five today, or it already did and fell off, but uh, you can download it in the description below. Coming at number four on the extra five is the MNKS Sibalu. Sibalua? Si Cibu Ella. Cibu Ella. By Billy Bly. Billy Bly! Where have you been, man? So, yeah, it's by Billy Bly. So, it's a good build, I'm sure. Check it out, and uh, you'll have fun with it. Download it in the description below. Coming in at number three on the extra five is the DSIR number 12 by Pickles the Cucumber. And this is, of course, a steam train, and it looks really nice. So,. If you have done so already, go ahead and check that out. Use the description below to download all these vehicles and, uh, you know, let them know what you think. Coming in at number two on the extra five. Did we already see this one? I feel like we already saw this one. Maybe there was a different one. It looks very familiar. But this is the MS Buyak. Uh, boy. Fegi. Feizoglo. Feizoglo. Yeah, whatever. I can't say it, but it is Stormlink compatible and it's a passenger boat. And you can go ahead and download it and play with Stormlink and this beautiful ship. Uh, coming at number one on the extra five is the Deep Sea Mobile Oil Rig Tanker. And this is by Gav Halliday. And you can go ahead and use this to go out into the ocean and mine for oil. Is that how you drill for oil, not mine. Just drill for it. And you can download all these beautiful creations using the links below. All right, so that is it for today. I'm going to go ahead and sail off into the sunset. Uh, if you've done so already, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and I will see you on Friday. Uh, see what the new update is, the minor update, and hopefully it's something fun. All right, that's it for today. I will see you next time.